Hey guys, I have three quick Google Classroom tips here that will help you and your students stay organized as they are doing online work from home. So the first tip uh, involves your stream. Uh, the stream is a place in Google Classroom where you don't want to be posting uh, assignments. Uh, you really want to make sure that you are keeping all of your materials in the classwork section. Uh, it helps students stay organized and um, when things get posted to the stream, things start to get buried as assignments begin to pile up. Uh, if you have comments enabled for students, that's another thing that can start clogging up your stream. And uh, one thing that you want to make sure you do is you can click on the little gear icon in Google Classroom. And under general, you can go to classwork on the stream and select hide notifications and then hit the save button. And what that's gonna do is every time you post an assignment into your classwork section, it's not going to appear up on the stream and continue to clutter that. So the second tip involves being in the classwork section and it's all about organizing by topic. So if you see on my Google Classroom here, I've got a, a couple of uh, some fake assignments that I made and some, some other random things here. Uh, and they're kind of just floating here at the top and they're, they're not really organized in any way. Uh, but if you look here on the left side of my Google Classroom, and as I scroll down, you can see uh, these are all topics and, and really good ways to actually organize all of your assignments in Google Classroom. Now you can go about that two different ways. You can either organize topics based on the unit that you're currently in. So if I go here, I have some assignments in my persuasive techniques versus propaganda section. Or what you can do is you can organize by the week that you're currently in, uh, the week that you're currently teaching your online lesson. So uh, I made a topic here that says week one activities. That's April 6th to April 10th. That way my students know that when they go to the classwork section, they can find that specific week and all the activities that they need are gonna be right in that topic. So the way that you do that is you can go to create and topic and you can call a topic whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call this sample topic. And then when you create your assignments later on, uh, whatever my assignment is on the right side of the screen there, you can actually choose from all of the topics that you create. So if I wanted to put this in my sample topic, I would just click that there, fill out all my information and hit assign. You can also take topics that you've created and you can move them by clicking on them and dragging them. So if you finished week one and you want to put week two above that, that makes a lot of sense. You can also click the three dots on the right side of your topic and you can move topics up and down. And again, just to help you stay organized, uh, if you do have any uh, random assignments that are just floating in no man's land here, I would encourage you to uh, go to those assignments and either edit them and add them to the appropriate topics that you've created uh, or simply remove them at this point. So again, as a final recommendation, I would go uh, back to your stream. And the one thing that you can share with your class in your stream is to direct them to the classwork section of your Google Classroom. Uh, that way they'll know that that's where they should be looking for assignments and not in the stream. So hopefully if you're new to Google Classroom, these tips will help you and your students stay organized.